Hello, this is Gio, and today I have another Dremel test for you. I've been actually trying to sand off this uh, metal piece here. Uh, this is to an actual arcade um, panel, but I've been trying to get all this black paint off, and I've been using my handy dandy DeWitt with 60 grit sandpaper, but I'm kind of to a point where I'm at this hinge point, and I've, I'm not going to try to get all of it off, but I'd like to do a better job than I'm doing with the sander. So I have my Dremel, and I have these uh, sanding bands here. Uh, these are also 60 grit. Uh, this is, um, let's see, a half inch sanding band, and I have a quarter inch sanding band. And these, I believe, are, let's see, the quarter inch is um, a Dremel bit th uh, 431, and then the half inch 60 grit is 408. And both of these come with these little drums that hold the sanding band in place. The smaller one is 430, and the larger one is, oh, what this larger one? It's 407. So I'm going to use these and see if I can get a little bit closer in, and uh, you'll see me test it today. Okay, so what I'm going to use today is my handy dandy Dremel uh, model 285 and it has two speeds and so basically the first thing you do is you take your little drum and the way this little drum works is it's kind of a little rubber on top and it has a little uh, uh, screw here that when you tighten down the screw the drum actually expands and so when your little band is on here it will actually expand as you tighten this little screw and hold the band tightly together and so uh, this is a uh, eighth inch uh, little rod which will fit in this type of Dremel. You just push down the button, tighten it a little bit, take your little wrench piece here and just make sure it's tightened. Then you put your little uh, band on, put it on kind of centered there, and then you use actually I think I grab a different screwdriver here. If I can find one, where's my screwdriver? Here's the screwdriver. and then just tighten it so it doesn't feel like it's going to come off Okay. and so we're just going to sand this a little bit and see how it works put it on a low setting for now oops, plugging in first step of any project is plugging things in give me one second alright, let's try it again there we go. Well, that looks like it works pretty darn good. I got really close inside here. Let's see if I can do it from the top and see if it, I can get this little groove here. Well, it didn't get all the way, of course, because it, it too has limitations in size, but it's getting a lot closer than my DeWitt did. So let's go ahead and swap off to the quarter inch and see if I can do a little bit better. Okay, got it on. It's also an eighth of an inch bar and works on the same principle as you tighten up the screw. It expands the rubber gasket in there and uh, tightens everything up. So let's give this a shot. Well, as expected, this works just very similar to the uh, half inch. I think that half inch worked a little bit better, give me a little surface area. Uh, this may be in some, well, I'm not sure about this little square, but in, let's say, if you have a circular, I do have a couple little circles here that this would probably fit in a little bit better to stand around. But I'm actually, these are actually uh, pretty handy, so I think I'll use this to finish up my hinge sanding here and hopefully my project will work out. Well, 
I uh, hope this helped you out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.